The hair color change I needed in my life was inspired by Ana de Armas. There are moments when you witness a superstar with a hairdo that resonates deeply with you. A look you know belongs on your head because it will instantly break any style rut you're in and boost your confidence tenfold. This phenomena happened to me when I was 17 years old, taking out my braces and finding a picture of Reese Witherspoon at the 2007 Oscars with wispy bangs. I later learned that professional Mark Townsend had done her hair. Other than a couple impulses to go ombre like Chrissy Tajin or brawn like Blake Lively back in 2013, I haven't really had a wonderful celebrity, aha, hair moment since. However, everything changed when I met Ana de Armas this summer. Okay, so I didn't really meet her in person or anything. But I did come across an Instagram photo of her that showed off her stunning cool blonde highlighted hair. The photo was posted by Matrix celebrity colorist George Papanicolas. I require that hair, require. Meet right now, I said to myself. And George, her personal colorist, is the ideal person to help me begin my hair color journey. I was able to sit down with George and tell him that although I wanted her same hair tone, I am the world's most carefree girl when it comes to hair color, meaning I don't want to ever have to worry about touch-ups or my growth pattern. Since I have a rather dark foundation hue, it is evident that we have to slightly adjust that target. For the record, I'm over the harsh ombre. The idea was to add faint blonde highlights to the roots and really bring it up in the lengths so that it would still seem light, bright and summery while blending in nicely. We used a combination of techniques to apply the matrix color formula to my hair, such as foils to intensify the brightness in the lengths and ballage to the roots and around the face. It was a subtle, lovely difference, but if I wanted to really replicate Anna's appearance, I realized I had to step it up and stop worrying so much about the grow out. Take small steps, please.